Now, I'm not going to insult anybody by calling something that weighs 13,105 pounds an ultralight, but that is a surprisingly manageable weight for something this size with these features, like that full, big, extended upper deck super slide and uh, very snazzy front master suite on this thing. This is a cool model with a lot of really unique features uh, for some extended couples camping, seasonal use, snowbird use, whatever the case may be. So when you first walk into the 384, it's not unlike uh, pretty much any other big dual opposing slide fifth wheel. If you're traveling or if you're packing the RV, you can access uh, about half of the refrigerator. If you notice that Kitchen Island kind of precludes the use of the left side of the fridge, but these big vertical doors make that easy to get into. Now there's gas electric options, there's a residential option. I talk a lot about the benefits of a gas electric fridge, but there are still benefits to an electric only fridge, and we do like to have offerings for any client. So some that's, you know, our open ranges, they're different in every way, so we equip them differently. You know, it just kind of makes sense. Now you notice you can still get to half the dinette here, so if you do want to stop and get a sandwich, that's not a problem. Now moving upstairs, first of all, right when you come in the door, you've got a perfect little spot to hang a coat. So if you just need to stop and grab a jacket, or if you're camping and you want to grab a jacket, that's not a problem. Now this has the full upstairs Super Slide Master Suite. And uh, at a glance, you look and you're like, oh man, I can't get to that hallway at all. You know, you can stop and use the bathroom and wash your hands, but you feel like you can't get to the hallway. But if you do traverse up here through the bedroom, you'll notice that they actually did a good job of making it so you can still get to all of that slide-out closet storage as well as the, uh, you know, the cabinet here behind you. So it is fairly travel-friendly, travel-accessible. But the biggest thing with uh, any Open Range 3X is when you open these big opposing slide outs. Because it's only when the slides are open that you really appreciate an open range, especially one of the Big Daddy 3Xs like we're standing in right now. Now like I said, uh, there's, I mean, almost everything is different on an open range. It's like they are very left of center. Now this is a very similar floor plan to other things we have here at Halo RV. We've got a Montana, a North Point, and a Pinnacle that have very similar layouts, but they've all got their own touches. I think they all have their own um, deserving qualities. And that's what I want to point out here are the things where this is a little bit different. So kind of like a, a North Point or a Pinnacle, you've got that double vaulted ceiling inside. It really opens it up in here, makes it feel nice and large. It also means there's no insulation gaps where the sidewalls meet the, uh, um, the roof line. Um, like most big fifth wheels, they've got a max air vent fan up here right above your kitchen cooking area so that uh, you can use that to really exhaust a lot of heat that you introduce by cooking in here. But that's not necessarily the only benefit of those things. You can just open it, uh, open those up and get some great airflow. Now, one of the other things is not only is this wider, but the slides are deeper and they're taller. These are like seven and a half foot slide heights. This is a, a true, true walk-in slider. I mean, case in point. You know, I got all kinds of room to bop my ears around in this thing. Not a problem whatsoever. Even a tall guy like me can truly stand in these without hitting my head. Now, because they're extra tall slides, that means they have the opportunity... Sorry about that, needed a quick camera battery swap. So because they're extra tall slides, it gives them the opportunity to have extra tall cabinets. This is a tall ceiling. It gives you more space for more things. You have these extra large overhead rear cabinets. And if I get down here and take a knee, you can see they are plenty deep. Those are not pretend cabinets, that is huge storage. But you also still maintain big windows all over the place. So you get big slide out windows and overhead storage in the slide. Now right here in your dining area, they do give you these big picture panoramic viewing windows. And I love having these giant windows right on the door side of the RV. Now most of the time you're not gonna be looking at you know the, uh, the other fifth wheels that we carry here at Halet RV. You'll be looking at your campsite. But I love how this gives you the perfect shot of uh, who's at your campsite? The windows are on the door side. You're looking at your campsite, not the neighbors. That's that's a good execution feature I like here. So you may notice something else here if we pan down. No carpet. This has a uh, completely carpetless main deck with uh, carpetless floor flush slides. That is something that is pretty exclusive basically to open range. Now, not only is this completely carpetless right here, especially in your dining area, this is where you're going to drop, uh, you know, um, food particulate and uh, drinks and whatnot. So they, uh, they, they keep this carpetless right here so that it's easy cleaning. Now, it's also 42 inches deep. Most fifth wheels 
have a 36 inch deep slide. So this is extra deep, it is extra tall, it's, it's just extra, as, as the, uh, the kids on the interwebs would say, is that the 3X is just plain extra. Um, we'll come back to the kitchen in a minute. The uh, Entertainment Center, they do something here in a lot of their open range models that I really like. They, uh, they have what my grandfather would call his Baptist medicine cabinet. And that is that you've got a hideaway lift up um, strutted storage behind that. And you can see that's no joke. That's almost a pantry in and of itself. You can put a lot of mac and cheese and, and, and whatnot back here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that, can, that can store a lot of soup. So down here, electric space heating fireplace, uh, 5120 BTU. Now this is something I've noticed. Um, you have to watch certain manufacturers. There's a, there's a popular brand out there that advertises. They have a 40,000 BTU heating system. That doesn't mean furnace. This has a bigger furnace plus the electric space heating fireplace. Not a uh, not a 40,000 furnace plus fireplace, like all included into one number. I think I phrased that poorly, but I think you know what I'm getting at. So being extra wide, they can put a bigger hide-a-bed trifold sleeper sofa back here. And you might notice how they've got a heat vent down here at the bottom of it. You might also notice they don't have heat vents in the floor. We are standing on a, uh, a laminated floor that is extremely thick. And uh, you've got um, floor studs every two feet on center. And you don't want less than that. You don't want four foot on center floor studs because that has been a recipe for soft floors in the business for a number of years. You're not going to have that experience here in the open range series. They're actually consistent on that floor construction uh, even up here in their biggest fifth wheels all the way down to their lightest trailers. It's one of their areas where they're able to stay strong but lightweight. Now uh, your, your Thomas Payne recliners here, you do need 110 power to get full function out of these so park power or generator but um, these things can be built a number of ways, like we've got heat massage here. They are still manual recline. Now there are some that look exactly like that, that are power recline, and those extra power features on those sofas in the RV business, they're a la carte. So you could have three brands of uh, fifth wheel that use the exact same looking theater seating, but they might not be the exact same functioning theater seating. Those are the little detail things you gotta look at. And I don't have them turned on right now, but there's actually LED accent lights under that seating just to help brighten it up in here and it makes a, a perfect little night light. So back to our big, extra tall, extra deep 42 inch super slide that is carpetless. Your uh, dining table here, it does have an extension, but it's easy for someone to misunderstand what we're looking at. If I slide this chair out of here, you're looking at it and you say, well, the dingbats mounted the, uh, the extension leaf on the wrong side of the table, and that's not true. The entire tabletop slides this way, which allows you to flip that end up right there. What I like about that is it leaves this end wide open so that if you are just getting in and out of the, the table, you're not banging your knees against that extra, you know, little flappy doodle majigger. That's a technical term. Don't even bother looking it up. You won't find it. It's so technical. <coughs> anyway, uh, so kitchen. I promise we come back here. Here we are. Above us, I do want to point out the whisper ducted air in here. Bedroom and living room. Dual whisper ducted AC on this. So, uh, you know, whether you're in here watching TV or if you're up in your master suite, which this, this, this is one of the sexiest applications of a master suite I have ever seen. It is, it is straight RV nerd sexy, ladies and gentlemen. That's also a technical term you won't find on uh, a definitionary. Anyway, starting here in the kitchen. I've already kind of showed you a little bit of hidden pantry back there, but I love the angle work done on these cabinets right here on both sides that that big residential size microwave um, convection is an option you can put in those that's typically what we're going to do on a 3x product is convection but even if it's not it's large enough uh, the, the standard microwave is still large enough to accept one but these are more than just pretty these are big these are deep and I love how everything is inward focused but by being recessed slightly, it makes the kitchen feel even larger. And with that extra tall slide and the extra wide body nature of this, it just opens it up even more. And that huge kitchen window right there, I love that. And the other thing I love is the fact that you've got symmetrical countertop and prep space on both sides of that oven. That is a stroke of genius because it means that you've got appliance space and outlets on both sides of that. There are outlets on both sides of this. Now, look at this. I looked at this and I'm like, yeah, I've seen that oven before, that Furion thing, and I went, oh, ooh, what is that? And this is just like home. How cute is that? You know, it, there's nothing wrong with having a normal wood constructed drawer down there, but this is cool. It gives it that real at-home stainless. That's soft clothes. I didn't notice that the first time. 
cool. <laughs> I sound like <laughs> Zoink Scoob. Anyway, big deep storage down here. Nothing gone to waste. Extra drawers up top on both sides. And you notice, look at how thick the construction is on this. It's not just the sidewalls that are thicker. We'll talk about that when we go outside. But even the drawer boxing is crazy thick on these. Now, you don't just have the two drawers there. If you turn around, uh, this, this island, they nailed. So uh, it starts with over here. We've got one more full extension drawer. Then when we get over here, we've got drawers to the floors right here with four full extension drawers all the way down to the ground. What that means is there's room for wastebasket under this apron style stainless sink. And wouldn't you know it, look at these guys nailing it. That is a cutaway of the sidewall. Um, remember this when we go outside. You see that blue line? That's how much thicker the sidewall is on this versus basically almost every other fifth wheel. Solid surface counters here in the kitchen. And uh, the, again, the apron style sink, it just looks awesome, that double stainless sink. Now, I think the visual aesthetic of a double bowl sink is lesser than a single bowl sink, but I think the function of this is a little more residential in nature. So I think this is the right sink for this big product. But you know what? Opinions vary, and that is exactly why we carry so many different brands and different products here at Halid RV, to help you kind of zero in on the one that works best for you. Um, yeah, just give you a nice look at this thing all the way down. Stanley Kubrick style one point perspective. Check that out. Ah, beautiful looking coach. All right, moving on. A little sprayer faucet sink. Now, like I said, there's benefits to both style of refrigerators. I personally, uh, you may have noticed from some of my other videos, I'm kind of slanted personally more toward the gas electric option, but I fully acknowledge there are some very good benefits to the residential option here. It is a little easier to keep running going down the road from a legal standpoint. Um, not that you can't run the propane side going down the road with a standard fridge, it's that you're not supposed to. Well, this one doesn't have that problem. Um, there's, there's benefits to both styles. You can get this RV built either way, but we've done so much gas electric fridges and everything else in an open range is so wacky and weird. We wanted to make sure that these had a different, weird, unique identity out here so that they really stood out. And this kind of stuff, you may have noticed, it's not that they shorted you one chair here. I've just placed it over here. It's your little entry desk bureau space. This is perfect for like mobile office use right here. It's got a nice little entry hutch alcove you can use for, uh, you know, um, power outlets for charging phones and stuff. Perfect little phone charge station right there. This is a neat little spot. But not to be outdone, the kitchen isn't quite done yet. And I love this. That little strap right there keeps this thing from smashing into that refrigerator door. It's so simple, but it's so effective. And they're also doing a lot of motion lighting in fifth wheels nowadays. You'll find motion sensitive lighting up around the bedroom hallway area so that you can see at night, but you may notice how this kicks on too. Now, you're wondering why didn't they run shelves all the way down to the floor here? Because there's a thing under there, like maybe a furnace or a water pump or something, and there's an access panel screw on that. They don't want you to be able to get in there and, and bust it up or have cargo shift and break something on accident. And I'm telling you, one of the things you gotta do sometimes, guys, get off the computer, go touch one of these, and feel these doors. They have really heavy, solid doors. They put some serious hefting construction into those things. Moving upstairs, one of the things, take a glove off so I can manipulate stuff better, I love is they put a big coat closet right by the entry door here. And, you know, even little hat storage above, but I get annoyed in giant fifth wheels where you can't even hang a coat by the door. That drives me nuts. And I'm sure you've noticed as I've opened other cabinets, but all hidden hinge cabinets throughout this. Now, they don't do raised panel cabinetry, even at the 3X level. And there's a lot of guys that do, and it looks beautiful. But tell me this doesn't look good. Tell me that the cabinetry in here doesn't aesthetically look pleasing. But it is so much lighter, guys. So... They are trying to be big, but smart. They're not just throwing money at this product to throw money at it. They're not senseless and frivolous with it whatsoever. Now, this is a tri-level sofa. We actually have a dedicated bathroom deck before you step up to the bedroom deck. Why did they do that? Well, part of the reason is because of the, the general gooseneck styling and, and sizing of um, fifth wheel construction, uh, just the way the chassis are built. So they build a mid-level to this. But what that means is that you've got this exceptionally tall, huge fiberglass, seamless one-piece shower in here. Let me turn on the extra light I missed. So you can see you've obviously got a seating area in the corner. A uh, one-piece, seamless fiberglass shower. It is self-reinforced. And again, being on the mid-level of this fifth wheel, I'm 6'3". 
with my goofy hat. I got all kinds of headroom in here. This is excellent. Now, um, all sorts of leg room and, and dressing room in here. And this is something I like about this. If you are standing at the sink getting yourself ready for the day, your partner can get through the bathroom. They can still basically navigate through the bathroom without uh, you two running into one another. Now, they don't have solid surface here. This is called thermal foil, and it's excellent because you notice they can still recess a stainless sink under the countertop. This is a lighter weight material, and it has basically the same benefits as a solid surface countertop. But people in this price point expect solid surface, and oh my god, that is a big medicine cabinet. I, I never opened it before. I was not expecting it to be that deep. Holy crap. So, you've got dual hallways here, and you notice you've got a sliding door here. So you can enclose the bathroom without, like, people don't have to come through the bedroom to get to the bathroom. We'll come back to this in just a second. I just want to make sure you got to see that. Whipping around this door here, taking a one quick step upstairs. Oh, I forgot to talk about this. The uh, the LCI um, touchpad system right here. You can get the um, LCI One Control app on your phone. Turn any Android or iPhone into a wireless Bluetooth remote. Operate your awning, your leveling, your slides, uh, exterior lighting. You can do a lot of things off just your phone with this, which is so, so handy. Like, if this door is closed like it's supposed to be, it's hard for me to know that that bed is going to close unobstructed. What if somebody forgot to close one of those drawers? With the door closed, I can't see that. But with a remote control, I can peek my head around the corner. I can make sure it's good. And we're set. Uh, 70 by 80. King bed right here. So we do have all that. Ooh, they got a nice pillow package on that. Thick head. Holy crap. Look at that. Ooh, that is sound deadening. And it, it, just for clumsy guys like me who tend to hit their head on stuff, I'm not going to bash my face into anything. Anyway, so big king bed in here. And I, this is that full master suite. They have a very uh, appealing master suite to look at. Like I said, we've got floor plans like this in Pinnacle, North Point, Montana. The, this is one of the better executed master suites, I feel, for a couple different reasons. Um, so we do have dual whisper quiet air. This is a full walk-in height. If you want to take one more look at me, I think that's three this time. Sorry about that. But just the, the, the side stands, the dual side outlets, all of this up here, it just looks sharp as all get out. But then you go, what is that? They got their own little drink cooler built right in up here in the master suite. So if you need to retreat, or it's game day, or whatever, you know, because there's gonna be people living in this, this is a very functional private den living room. And how cool is that? Now, a lot of floor plans, you're going to find a bedroom TV mounted right up here. And you notice they didn't do that there. One, it makes this thing feel so big and open. I love that. But this is what's really neat. This is where I think they really took it over the top. That, that little wine cooler, drink cooler, whatever, that's beautiful. But look at this. Look at what they did here. Directly across from the bedroom sofa, you have your own additional fireplace space heater. It's, it's a space heater we call a fireplace. And uh, Fearon HDTV. And it is awesome. I absolutely love this. Now, you're thinking, yeah, but what if I'm laying in bed? I don't want to crank my neck around. Well... I got you, fam. That's the, the you know they they got this taken care of. It's going to swing right out to you so that it's not going to be uh, uh uh you know in the way when you don't want it to be. But it's always easily visible. This is one of the most creative, modern, awesome uses of that wall I've seen in a master suite. Now we don't have a front closet, obviously. That's what we're going to do over here. That's you're going to be your primary closet space. And if you notice, this is one upstairs super slide all the way down to that kitchen sink down there or bathroom sink pardon me so instead of a central vac system open range likes to do these dice and handhelds i love these these are fantastic they are exceptionally lightweight they're very powerful they get the job done and they store right out of the way you know it's just to me it's just simple and easy but on the flip side of this around the corner this is where your washer dryer is going to store so instead of uh doing a um uh, well, first of all, it's just a human-sized closet. I mean, you know, if you've seen Weekend at Bernie's, you could have hid the guy's body in here. 
Wow, that's an old reference. I'm getting old. But you can see how big this is. But this is stackable washer dryer ready. It's the only master suite I've seen with this arrangement. Most master suites require uh, a side-by-side -side washer dryer installation in that closet slide in the next to the bed. And then you basically lose your closet space. This one doesn't have that deficiency. Let's take a peek outside and see how she's put together. Man, this is sweet. You know, walking out, looking at this thing where it says 3X, I just had a bit of, a, uh, of an epiphany. I've always liked, I like that name, 3X, and I couldn't figure out why. I think it's because one of my uh, favorite camping drinks is Dos Equis. So this is a Tres Equis. And I'm like, I could live with that, you know? It's one more X. <laughs> anyway, um, first of all, let's just take a second to appreciate just the aesthetic. Very sweet looking trailer, very high contrast package. And one of the reasons that really has a striking appearance is its armless automatic awning, the AAA. Uh, this is a one-touch awning. You tap the button, not hold, tap the button. The awning will fully extend. It even has its own little pitch to the you know proper full extension. Tap the button again one time, it fully retracts. What's also cool is it does have a wind weather sensor, but you can turn that off if you feel it's too sensitive or not appropriate for the given day. Um, another neat thing on this model is due to the location of the, the door versus the wheels, they, they couldn't put a normal set of steps on this. But I'm happy with that because that means we get this awesome quadruple more ride step above system right here with those adjustable foot pegs. That is my personal favorite step in the business. That thing is the business. That gets the job done. Now this is a wide body product. It is 102 wide. And not only is it extra wide, it also has an extra deep main seating slide out there on the left side of the frame. That is a 42 inch deep slide instead of 36 like you typically find out there. So the body's wider, the slide is deeper, it gives us more room all over the place. The uh, baggage doors, the ones that flip up will be double magnet latched with those uh, bus style uh, slam latches so that you know they're easy to use and operate big it actually dips down the, the storage dips down when you start looking inside this baggage compartment and i like that so that if you open the door cargo isn't inclined to fall forward and fall onto you we do have tv hookups up here we do have a little hole where you can run those down through the skirting i like to point out the fact that this is actually fully skirted all the way to the i-beam there's no gaps there um there's a lot of coaches that have uh, enclosed underbellies, but they have exposed I-beams. So not the entirety of the floor is enclosed and encapsulated. This is. Now you're looking at this big coach and you're going, 20 pound tanks? Are you serious? Well, this has triple 20 pound tanks and notice how they slide open to you. Uh, that's kind of uh, something Open Range has done for a long time. They use more but smaller tanks so that they're easier to manipulate and far easier to exchange, unlike a Sunday if you're grilling. And we do have a grill quick connect right down there next to the steps by the entry door. So uh, our automatic leveling, this does have six point auto leveling with vehicle hitch height memory. That's pretty common in big coaches like this. But that wide body, those deep slides, that could make this thing uh, inclined to be a little tipsy, a little unstable at a campsite. So. They've overcome that by putting strong arm stabilizer jacks uh, on this coach. And they have those both front and rear. So that with a little quarter crank of those little T-handles, she stays exactly where you put her every time. And look at that. This is, this is the best way to see how big that upper deck slide is. It is truly a triple super slide coach. Now, um... Doors like this that would open under a slide, open range has them fold down so you don't have to duck under them to get to anything. What I like is they have separate storage and separate um, uh, like docking stations here. So you can actually, you can get into one and not the other and not have to worry about cargo shift maybe breaking anything. That is truly uncommon. It's a theoretical problem more than a practical one, but now it's literally just not a potential issue whatsoever. But that upper extended deck, they had to do something with some of the space, and people are going to go, well, why is this here? And the answer is, why not? They just didn't waste it. They opened up every little pocket of room they possibly could. Now, as I mentioned, the underbelly is fully enclosed. Uh, open range has the single most impressive hot, cold camping, tested, proven data of any brand out there on the market. In a zero degree scenario, with uh, the thermostat on uh, uh, zero or 70 degrees for 24 hours or whatever, I think they maintain, depending on the floor plan, something like uh, 60 to 62 in the underbelly of this. It's unmatched.
It's absolutely unmatched. I've never seen another brand publish proven testing data superior to that. Now, there are some that are darn close, and that's fine, but this is the, the leader of the pack. This is uh, the, the, uh, the winner in that respect, I guess you could say. So what are they doing different to achieve that? The walls being thicker is part of that. You know, you are gaining some R value there. So, um, you know, they have your normal insulation in the roof, but they also have the radiant foil insulation that wraps all the way around the nose cap and underneath the gooseneck area. That's an area a lot of brands miss. But specifically, it's what they do for the underbelly heating. It has a cyclical heat system where you're not just pumping heat into the underbelly. It also has a hot air return that goes up through the bathroom floor so that you always have hot air return and replenishment, refreshment. That, you know, when you encapsulate air, it can't do its job as well. We do have uh, a, a, an indicator of what kind of product level you're looking at is that we have front and rear caps, not just a front cap. There, uh, it, it is largely an aesthetic thing, but what it lets them do is extend the interior a little further back into that cap and really squeeze every ounce of juice they can out of that lemon. Um, rear ladder is detachable you know it goes right over the window and a lot of people don't like the look of that so you can just pull it off there also very handy if you have a weekend with an adventurous grandkid now cable slide systems are something that are oft misunderstood in this business know this right away guys cable slide systems are the single most expensive slide system out there if they weren't getting the job done this is an industry that is more than willing to find a dollar cheaper way to do something. So if this wasn't good, if this wasn't reliable, if it wasn't performing, they would be using another slide system. This is the single most reliable slide system out there too. It is one of the things that makes us able to have a deeper 42 inch slide out also. You can't do that with a lot of slide systems. They just can't handle it. Now, all of your screw trim in an open range is going to be aluminum, not plastic. So you're going to be more weather resistant in that regard. That's the extra things they do. The deeper slide allows for bigger side slide windows as well. Um, we've got, uh, this does have a laminated floor. Thankfully it has, uh, it's you know all aluminum structured, but uh, it has 24 inch on center floor studs. In a laminated floor, that is a very heavy duty construction. You will often see floors 36 to 48 inches on center. 48 inch on center floor studs tend to get kind of spongy and break down over time. It's uh, it's not water damage, just the, uh, the bead foam breaks down. This has enough structure in it, that doesn't happen, and it significantly reduces the weight. That's one of the ways they keep the weight down on this. Bigger 16 inch G rated tires with that big heavy duty Equiflex suspension on there helps them improve your ride and handling. Uh, keyless entry door pad on this. So if you're gonna go kayaking or biking, you don't gotta worry about leaving your keys, uh, you know, or dropping your keys out of your pocket. Extra wide entry door also. That is another thing that's handy with those more ride steps. They're able to use a wider step because they have a wider door. So it's easier, safer to get in and out. The other thing they do on this a little different is the PVC roofing on this. It has a 15 year warranty on the roof material itself. Understand, you still have structure below that. That is where their three year structural warranty comes in because they actually do cover things like the way that they build their roof. Not all three year structural warranties do that. It is such a, such a slippery slope, that three year structural thing. Either brands do it right or they are cutthroat about it. There seems to be no in between. Thankfully, this is one that does it right. But that PVC roof membrane, it itself does not grow black algae, so uh, it drastically reduces the black streaks running down those beautiful white sidewalls on this critter. Um, it is also more UV reflective. That'll help with uh, you know um, re heat reflectivity in the summertime. It is very puncture resistant. I mean, you hit something hard enough with a tree branch, it's going to pop through, but you know that would happen to your house as well. So it, there's a lot of extra little things they put into this, like the. Uh, um, the thicker, the, the double arch roof trusses are incredibly strong structurally. If you want to walk on something, I prefer a double vaulted roof any day of the week. Even in travel trailers, you can feel the difference below you. So everything here is just a tick above and a tick left to center. There's very few, if anything, that really directly lines up against any open range products. That's one of the cool things. They're very left of center. And that doesn't mean they necessarily work for everybody. It doesn't mean they're worse, doesn't mean they're better. They're just different. And if different speaks to you the way different speaks to me, then I think you're gonna enjoy it. So come on down to Halid RV, take a look at a trace of key, and uh, I, th I think you'll enjoy the open range 3X there. So give us a call. We only do everything except for hidden fees. We leave that to the other dealers. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.